I just introduced you to Leonard Euler and the famous problem now known as the Seven Bridges of Konigsberg, which dates back to 1736. And the question is, can you go for a walk in this city and cross each bridge only once? Well, Euler came up with the idea of making a graph to depict this problem. And here's a version of Euler's famous graph. So here's the seven bridges of Konigsberg expressed as a graph. So everywhere we see one of these um, like red lines that have the lowercase letters, those are the bridges, okay? So you'll notice that there are seven of them and they are actually called, and Euler started this, they're called edges, all right? And then these green dots that have the uppercase letters, A, B, C, and D, those are the four possible land masses that are connected by the bridges in this famous problem. One, you know, two, three, and four. So this is a simplification of that map referred to as a graph, okay? And um, the question again is, can the citizens go on a walk that allows them to cross each bridge only once? So Euler just, you know, coming up with drawing that problem like this as a way of depicting it, that was an advancement in mathematical theory, and in fact the beginning of the branch of math known as graph theory. So when we ask this question, we're actually asking, is there an Eulerian path or cycle? The difference between a path and a cycle, much like in biochemistry, is that a path begins with one thing and ends with another, it's linear, and a cycle begins and ends at the same thing. So in this problem, the question would be, can you, can you cross all these bridges only once and end up where you started, right? If the question is simply, can you cross all of the bridges, then it would be a path. You're not ending up where you start. So, and the citizens of Konisberg wanted to get back to where they were. So Euler, in drawing this, was able to simplify the problem and figure out um, that the solution is negative. In, in other words, no, you cannot cross, you can't do a walk that crosses each of these edges only once. That's just not possible. So he proved that the answer is no. He solved the problem, even if it was in the negative. And he invented um, early graph theory. And like he didn't use the term Eulerian path or cycle, but it got used later in his honor. So a little bit more, another example of this would be if each of these, which are numbered, are the nodes, and these black lines are the edges. These are like the bridges in the previous problem, right? Here are three different examples, and this is a problem that I'm leaving you with, all right? I'm going to go ahead and tell you that one of these shows an Eulerian path, in other words, you can cross those black lines once, and only once, and all of them. One of them is a cycle, an Eulerian cycle, which means you can start and finish at the same place, crossing each of these bridges once, and one of them is neither, okay, unsolvable, like the Bridges of Konigsberg problem. Which is which? And that's a homework for you to figure out. So a little bit more about graph theory. I'm going to introduce the idea that these edges can be either non-directional or directional. Shown is a graph with directional edges, as marked by the, error, the arrows. Also, each of the nodes, which also get called, just so you know, they also get called vertices. Each of these nodes, like the blue one here and the green one here, we can look at them and we can ask, is the node balanced or not balanced? This number four node has one edge coming into it, hence the one here, and it has two edges coming out of it, hence the two here. That is an unbalanced node. This one over here, number two, has one edge coming in and one going out. It's a one one, this is a balanced node. Because this overall graph includes quite a few nodes that are not balanced, right? It's considered an unbalanced graph. So let me ask you this. Is there a path or a cycle that allows you to go through each edge once? And the answer is 
No. And one of the things that Euler figured out is that if the graph is unbalanced, you can never have an Eulerian cycle. You can only have an Eulerian path if only the first and the last nodes are unbalanced. And you could draw examples of that for yourself to see um, what I'm talking about or do a little bit more reading. But this is just a little bit of graph theory for you. And it relates, trust me, it relates to genome assembly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the idea of an Eulerian path or cycle, and that is the idea that you could have a path or a cycle through a graph where you, where you crossed each edge only once, and you crossed all of them, okay? That's what an Eulerian path or a cycle is, invented by Leonard Euler back in the 1700s. We're going to leave that idea there for now, and we're going to go on to another idea in mathematics.